but when they're actually full on choking and they're not making a sound is like one of the scariest, scariest moments I've ever experienced as a mother. on a walk and on our way home the boys decided the boys were playing at our house and the girls were playing at their friend's house that we were on the walk with so Jabek is in heaven he's got two older brother figures here and they have set up the coolest thing like seriously look how cool this is all right Jabek, let's see it look how far he's going <laughs> yeah let's see it go drew Look how cool that is. So they've kind of puddled it. They've used random things to puddle it and make it a little pool. Look how far they're going. That is so cool. We are just enjoying it. It's not quite as hot of a day. Beckham said, Mom, is it almost nighttime? Watch you. Whoa. Whoa. So Jaybeck's like, Mom, is it almost time to go to bed? And I was like, no. And I realized it's because the sun has been out non-stop for so long. It's a cloudy day, but it's a good day. Still great weather. They're just enjoying being outside, making awesome sports. So Paige decided to join us. Three, one. Woohoo, you guys are going far. All right, let's see it. Wow. All right, you guys, let's see how fast you guys can just go, 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 go. Go, go. Wow, you guys, this is even on fast forward. Go, Bubba. Go, go. There's always someone coming out. Go, go. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> this is awesome. Go, keep going. <laughs> wow. Bubba, you're holding up the train. Go. Wow, I'm very impressed. And so we've created a little pool over here. Is this the best day ever? Wow, there's a lot of kids in this house. Oh. <laughs> Wow! We did it! He's on. on three. You ready? Are we good? Let us, are y'all ready? Okay. One, two, three! Keep going! Keep going! Who are you? So we just went to the gym. I know last time you saw us, we were on the water side. Peyton went over to her friends, and I was like, you know what, I really need to go to the gym today. We're going on vacation. Where? Huh? You don't know where we're going? You don't? We're going to Beckham. Yellowstone tomorrow. We're going to Yellowstone. Remember to see old Tay Flair wrapped? Because what have you wanted to see for a long time? Oh, yeah. She's been wanting to see a volcano erupt, and this is the closest thing I could come up with. We're finding a volcano for my son to erupt, huh? Mm -hmm. So we were leaving the gym, and I have not heard from JD all day, and I finally got a text back from him. He worked super late last night, and there's still a problem with that fund. So he's still working on it, and he's super frustrated. So I decided I was driving home just thinking about him like I always do, and just like worried, wondering what I could do for him, and I was like, I could get him something and go drop it off to him, just like to let him know I'm thinking of him. So. We are running into the store really quick. We're just gonna grab something to let Dad know that we are thinking of him, that we love him, that we appreciate his hard work, that he is our I Superman. So, heart. we're running to the Where? store super quick. Okay. Dressed like this, okay. oh, and I stink. That's okay, TMI, you didn't even know that. Can you say thank you? Say thank you. Thank you. Remember that one time I just came to get Dad's stuff? <laughs> oh, this is great.
are back in the car. I really just planned on getting some stuff for Didi, but then I remembered our trip and I was like, we should get a few things that were here for our trip too. So we got JD some almonds. You guys, this is so many almonds. Becca wanted to help me pull the like handle and we just got like $10 worth of almonds. I got the steak pretzels, the good munching things. I got some jerky, a bag of carrots, an apple. Where did the other stuff go? I got him a Mio Energy and I also got him a, um, oh, these. Okay, do you guys like these? I haven't had these in years. Anyways, just wanting him to know how we're thinking of you, we see you, and we appreciate you. So, back to Dad's office. You have reached the voicemail. See, he didn't answer, and I'm not going into his office dressed like this. So, I know, you can what? just leave a voicemail. That's what I did. Leave a voicemail? What, what would we leave a voicemail? What would we say if we left him a voicemail? Um, I for babe, I forgot something in <laughs> did you guys just hear that? Did you say babe? Oh my gosh. She said, oh my gosh, I hope everybody just heard that. They asked her what she would say if she left out a voicemail and she would say, babe, I left something in your truck I need you to come get. That just made my whole life. Life made, Pete. We finally got a hold of him. He was off at a bank trying to do some stuff for his e-commerce business, of course. That's why he didn't answer. So. I'm not waiting in his parking lot. <laughs> Guys, we got done with the gym like two hours ago. This is taking forever. And I just really want to shower. <laughs> Plus I have to leave in two hours. I'm going down to my sister-in-law's tonight. So Jade will have the kids all to himself. For real? For real. So I really need to like get home and clean the house and get dinner ready and shower. Some of the basic essentials of life. So I went and got, I added to his list a fizz. Except for, because he's being healthy, I don't know if he'll drink it. I'm kind of hoping he won't because then I'll drink it. <laughs> I'm the worst. Go get him. Go get him. Oh my gosh, you guys look at her diaper hanging out from her jumper. Hey, you get out of the room! Oh my gosh, that's cute. Hi. How are you? Hi. What's up, Pop? What the heck? What are we doing? What a nice surprise. Oh, I see something I really, really want. Okay, so we were thinking of you. Wow. And so we decided to use some treats so when you're working late, some stuff that are healthy, so that you'll be healthy. Of you. Oh, so, I appreciate you. Also, um, I know you're being healthy, so I picked up a fizz. If you don't want it, I'll drink it, but I it's definitely, drink it. you'll drink it? All oh, right, yeah. here we go. Oh, mom's the greatest. You guys are the greatest. <laughs> well, we love you. Oh, we care about you. So excited about this. And we see you. This really pumps me up. Come here. That's what family's for, right? Uh -huh. Palmer, you are definitely not allowed to eat that, drink that. <laughs> you see her look at me? She's like, uh-uh. <laughs> hey, you wouldn't sleep till Easter's. Uh, All right, you guys. So we love you, Dad. All right, Paul K. I wish you could tell them what happened because <coughs> I am freaking out. We're home from the gym. I just got ready. I was making dinner. And Palmer just woke up from her nap. Hi, sweet girl. Are you okay? You're okay. Whew. I was making dinner. She was sitting right next to me. And I had given her some strawberry. She loves strawberry. It's like one of her favorite food, but she hasn't had it in seriously probably like three months. So she was sitting right next to me. I was making dinner. And um, all of a sudden I looked over at her and she wasn't making a sound, but I could tell she was choking. And I'm like getting get emotional. Holy scary. That is like, like for real choking. It's one thing when they're like coughing. But when they're actually full on choking and they're not making a sound is like one of the scariest, scariest moments I've ever experienced as a mother. It happened once with Beckham since we moved in here. So he had to have been like probably three. I think it was just last summer. It's like three and a half and he swallowed a hardened gumball 
well, he didn't swallow, we, but he was choking on a Harding gumball. Just the small size, too. And, um, yes, yeah, so just barely. So she had a strawberry, and she was choking, like full-on choking. And so it just made me think, like, I want to make sure that all of you know what to do. Um, I am not professional. Definitely look it up. But what I was taught when we left the hospital was, um, Palmer, come here. We're going to show you. I was just telling everybody that Palmer just choked on some strawberry. And it scared me. And I almost started crying. But I want to make sure that everybody watching knows what to do if a baby starts choking, right? Mm -hmm. So, like I said, not a professional. Look it up. But you're supposed to put them over your leg. You're supposed to put their bum higher than their head and hit the back like this. But so that's soft, exactly like not like yo 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 hard, but well, like kind of soft. Well, you hit it as hard as you need to save their life. Like kind of hard, but soft. That's the only time I'll ever tell you it's okay to hit a baby. Yeah, <laughs> it's on their back when they're choking. Yeah, like if huh. you can hit it kind of fast and a little hard, but not like. <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 okay. Like we digress. Really you guys, that was the scariest thing. Um, it worked on Beckham when he choked. It worked on Palmer just now. Um, and it worked one time in church when JD and I were in charge of the nursery. JD saved a little girl who was choking using that. So, definitely can be a lifesaver, literally. So, flip them head lower than their back or than their bum and hit down. You can do it to me. I can, I can do it to you. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm not even able to do it to you for much longer. I can't flip you upside down. Hold on. I Okay, okay, now I got you, but how am I supposed to hit? <laughs> okay. That did not work. I'm gonna go sweep the house right now for anything she could choke on and start camp her food even smaller than I was, but hopefully one day that will help you. All right, he is home. Yay. I'm off to leave him with alone with the bibs. You doing good? What, you're leaving? You didn't, you didn't know that? Uh-uh. I know. Uh-uh. <laughs> All right, you guys, wish him luck. Testy. Hi, we are back, and I'm just gonna say goodnight. And let's go see what Jabek and JD are doing. Mom, I know you are. You're at Hannah's, and I bet you're having the best time. Oh, look, there goes some garbage. I want to stop it so bad, but I don't have any. Where is Mama? Yeah, oh, where is yeah. Sissy? Where's Dad? Ah. There he is. Go. This is what shocks me. Guess who got it? Michelle and Palmer? Peyton! Peyton! Me, well, That's Peyton. Baby. It does not not look like. Do I act like a baby still? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and look how little. Do I act there's Mom and Beckham, mm, JD and Peyton, and these two. Oh my gosh, they are adorable. And I love this picture is like my favorite, except that we're missing one person who's pretty important. You, you were in Mommy's belly right there. You were in Mommy's belly. Hey, so uh, Michelle left for her. Fun thing last night, as you can tell, it's actually, it's a it's morning. Um, last night she left and I, I fed the kids dinner and we got ready for bed and we read books and and uh, anyway, I just didn't feel 100%. So I didn't vlog last night. Um, I am feeling a little bit better this morning. Uh, however, I did stay home from work and I'm just working from home. Hope you guys in, enjoyed today's video. Sorry for the weird transition, but uh, sometimes just life hits you. Hope you guys enjoyed today. Give it a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.